flathead. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Jack and today I've got to talk about a little issue that's been happening in the UK recently. There's a lot of like Fiestas and the Focuses and every sort of car that's got like the keyless start is getting stolen of recent. And the way they do that, when the door's locked, they put the window through um, and then they reach down, uh, reach into the OBD port, uh, plug something in and it like tells the car that there's a key inside it so they can start it and drive off. This usually takes about 30 seconds, like less than 30 seconds for people to steal people's cars. So, um, a way to help, like, sort of, I'm not saying it's going to stop people from stealing your car, because if they want to steal your car, they're going to steal it, regardless of what, however you protect it. Um, so, what are we going to do today? We're going to relocate the OBD port to somewhere else, wherever you choose, like, wherever you want that to be. Preferably away from a window, and somewhere that's not necessarily easy to find. If you don't use your OBD port, then you may as well hide it as far away as like you can hide it all the way up to the top of the dashboard. So what I've been and bought is I will put the link to this in the uh, description below as well. All this is is a just like a, an OBD extender. I put the link in the description. You can get really really long ones. This is in like a, a meter long one. So all that does that plugs into your OBD port and then that's like an extension of your OBD port. So that will plug in and then I can sort of rewire it wherever I want it to be. Um, <coughs> so obviously the idea behind this is like, so <coughs> if someone tries to steal your car, as soon as they put the window through, the alarm starts going off. off. And obviously if they can get in and start it within 30 seconds, the alarm's not going to be going off for that long. Um, if they put the window through, they can't find the OBD port, they're hopefully going to give up. So it could potentially like help not get your car next. Um, I know in like America it's not like a massive problem, but in the UK it is. I live uh, not far away from Birmingham and there's quite a few uh, robberies of these cars. There's, if, you, if you're on the uh, SD forums, there's like one every other day that someone's been like Nick. So if I can find a piece like some footage <coughs> of like uh, someone getting the car Nick, it's like the way they've caught it on CCTV, I'll show you how actually quick it is. I'll cut that in like now. So, without further ado, you're going to need your extension cable, um, you're going to need some cable ties, and you need a flat headed screwdriver, or a slotted screwdriver, whichever one you call it. So, let's get started. Right, so the first things first, <coughs> your OBD port is in, in this compartment here. So, obviously, when they reach through, they haven't got far to reach, and it's the same on all the other folk, like the old Mark II focuses as well. So, you open that up. <coughs> and then you squeeze the two sides together quite tight and then that will pop out ignore this, that's just like the base control for my subwoofer so ignore that I don't know if you can see it yeah, this little port here, that's the OBD port so we want to push that out, so the way you do that so as you can see this is your OBD port here and what you want to do is you want to put your, your screwdriver in here and unlock it so push the two little tabs in either side of the, the, the port and that will release it. So once you've done that, you should be able to just push it out. There we go. It's a bit fiddly, but it's easy enough to do. So once that, then that's the OBD is popped now, popped out. Right guys, so once your OBD is out, what you can do is you go grab your extender and what you want to do is plug it in. Uh, it's really hard to do with one hand because I can't get the tripod in the car, so. All you want to do is just plug it in. Right, so. I can... It's so cold today. So cold. So there you go, that's plugged in. And then what you can do then, you just feed this in here. And 
without getting it tangled up. And then you can just try and reach up inside and sort of wiggle it round. There we go, it's going in. It's so cold today as well, my hands are hurt, like freezing. It hurts so much to do this. There we go. So once that's manoeuvred round, you can pull it through into your footwell. Just be dead careful of all what the other connectors and sensors there are in there. <coughs> but then as you can see, you've got an hour cable, so if people break in, into your car, there's no OBD there, so they can't plug in. So it makes it makes your car so much more protected. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching that. It's something I highly do I really, really, really do recommend that you do. For something that costs eight pounds, sorry for fast. For something that costs eight pounds, it could potentially save you losing your car to someone that's stolen it. So especially around in the UK it's it's a massive problem. Not so much in the US from what I've heard. Still feel free to go and do it for something that's like so little like, it doesn't cost that much at all. It could save you so much in the long run. And well, really, if, even if you can't afford the cable, because I know some people can't, just by moving it out of that, 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 that slot, just by unhooking it, will potentially put someone off from stealing your car. If all they have to do is then put the window through and then plug something in, if they're, while the alarm's going off, as soon as you pull that window through, the alarm's going off. If that plug's not there, when they try and plug something in, it's going to throw them off completely, so they might just run off at that point if the alarm's going off on the car. So. Even if you don't have a cable, just unplug it and move it out of the way. Other than that, there's not much else to that. Put it, use your imagin imagination on wherever you want to put it. Like I said before, you can put it in the boot for all, for all intents and purposes. It's, it's completely out of the way and they, they can't get into the boot either. So definitely, uh, definitely somewhere you can do it as well. So um, Yeah, nice one. Um, make sure you... Well, definitely try and share this to all your friends with uh, Fiestas and Focuses and stuff like that. Any any car really that's got um, keyless start, because that's how they do it, it tricks the car into thinking there's a key. Say, tractors and lorries and more tractors. Definitely share this video with people that have got Fiestas, it might help them out. And as long as this, car, this helps someone out, that I'm happy, so it could be just one of you that this helps out. But definitely worth thinking about. Um, make sure you leave a comment below if you want to see anything else. If you've got any questions, feel free to give me a shout and I'll help you wherever I can. Like the video if it's helpful and make sure you subscribe, it's all really appreciated. So, yeah, thank you very much for getting me over 100 subscribers, that's awesome. I think we're at like 113 now, so thank you very much. Um, as I said, yeah, if you want to see any, any more videos on any specific topic, let me know and I'll try my best and do them for you. So, yeah, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.